Let's do this. Good morning. <laughs> so I've had breakfast. Why the hell am I doing this to myself? So as you may have noticed, I have turned my life around again. I broke up with my boyfriend on the day I moved out and now I'm like, what do I do now? I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, starting with a week. And you may ask yourself, why? Cornelia, why would you do that? Because I read it somewhere, that's why. I read somewhere that successful people wake up at 5 a.m. That's my thing now. You may be tired of me having a midlife crisis every single month. <laughs> it's so crazy, I'm making like every other month. I'm gonna get my shit together, get back on track, I'm gonna get my life on the right path but this time i'm for real and i'm always for real and i'm happy to be a person that changes all the time and constantly growing rather than staying the same old fucking boring person all the time so we're doing this i want to be the baddest bitch that ever was for a while i was like oh, i'm gonna settle down get a house get babies fuck no not for now i want that one day but not now people that are waking up 5 a.m working out getting their shit done before everyone else wakes up. That to me is very inspiring. I'm not a workaholic, but work makes me the happiest. So I think this could be for me. I'm testing it out and I'm letting you know at the end of the week how it worked out for me. Maybe it can be inspiring for you too. I'm gonna put up on the screen my schedule, how I plan to do this. As you can tell, I'm planning to work until five with breaks and stuff in between and the rest of the day I have the day off but I am sure that I'm gonna hit a wall around 12 so I'm gonna make sure that I do the most important hardest work before 12 and then after I'm gonna do the light work a bit of emails and maybe go and shop for something for a video or just small light stuff or maybe plan for the next day so yeah that's my plan and I'm determined to I'm determined to see through, to get back on the other side and be a better, healthier, more successful person. Uh, first day starting tomorrow, so I'm gonna go to bed around 10 this evening. Holy fuck, okay, let's do this. So I've had my glass of water, I've been out with the dogs, I've been feeding them. I'm just gonna close my eyes for 10 seconds. So I've had breakfast, I have been out with the dogs, and I'm gonna work out. Look how cute she is. The dogs, they were barking all night, so when the alarm rang at 5 o'clock, I was already, like I hadn't really slept at all. Okay, up 5 a.m. tomorrow. Now the time is 10.15. Wish me luck. Good morning. Oh my fucking god. So the time is 5.10. There's my proof. I managed to fall asleep with the window open. Freaking cold in here, which made it extra hard to wake up and get out of bed. But we made it, guys. Now what? <laughs> so I've been following my list a little bit. I wrote, I wrote what I'm grateful for and just my dream life. Then I've been hiding in the bathroom because it's so cold in here. I can't tell you. It feels like I've been sleeping outside. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast now. At seven o'clock, I'm gonna run, so that's gonna be my workout. So I'm ditching the my normal morning workout, which I normally do in here. Maybe I'm gonna do that after my run, so I get some strength in as well. So far, so good. Going down. Oh, 
on my way to exercise. Actually very proud of myself that I'm out now. This is Oslo right now. It's actually very foggy, I don't know if you can tell. The time is currently 6.40. When the alarm rings at 5, I'm like, why the hell am I doing this to myself? But it feels so good later. Let's do this. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and this whole new routine has been working out amazing. I've been having a lot of energy, been getting a lot of stuff done. I've been social, I've been feeling well rested. And then yesterday I went out. It was my friend's birthday and I got home later than 10, <laughs> which I usually go to sleep 10 or 10.30. So this morning I slept until 7 and when I woke up then I felt I didn't have any alarm set or anything. If I want this to be my routine in the future, I can't go to bed every day at 10 in the weekends. I'm probably staying up later and... There are events and stuff happening. I like to be up late as well, so I thought this was a great way of seeing what would happen when I was out later. And then I woke up by myself at 7. It felt like I had jet lag. I still have that feeling in my body and it's 11 a.m. now. And in one way I feel like I've slept through the entire day. A lot of people sleep in way longer, but it felt like I had slept through the whole day. Uh, which is a weird feeling because I still got many 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 hours of the day. Other than that I'm not doing so great. I don't know how to explain it. My thoughts are like this. It feels like I can't breathe in my head because there's so much going on. I just want a little bit of space to kind of and then go back in sort everything out. So I have contacted a shrink and I think that's gonna be good for me. Now we're here two weeks later. I hope I documented enough. But honestly guys, I truly believe that waking up 5am has tons of benefits. The only problem is I think a lot of people jump on this challenge too quickly and you need to kind of work yourself into it. Because in the beginning I got this jet lag feeling. In the middle of the day I kind of hit this wall. But when you've done it a few days I can't tell you how productive you feel, how energized, how good you sleep at night. When you wake up at 5am you don't want to waste that precious time in the morning to sit and watch TV or scroll through Instagram. You feel like okay there's a reason why I woke up this early. If I'm just gonna watch TV I could be sleeping you know then I would rather be sleeping so you feel like you need to make use of it that you need to make it worth the while so therefore you get this new kind of energy and motivation I highly recommend that you try it out I'm gonna continue to wake up early not sure about 5 a.m. I think I want that but I still think I need a bit of time to get it to be like a lockdown routine the reason for that is those days where I'm going out or if there's an event or something that is late, it's very easy for me to kind of fuck everything up because you don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. when you go to bed at 2 a.m. obviously. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that but other than that I love it and I really really want this to be something that I keep doing. I'm gonna keep you updated on that and I really want to make a um, 5 a.m. morning routine video for you where I actually just show the entire morning because now you've just seen a bit of clips I believe. I didn't film an entire morning. I didn't show you my routine. I just gave you that list in the beginning. But I have really made the perfect morning routine that I want to keep for the rest of my life hopefully. And I truly believe that if you incorporate that into your life it will make your life better in every way possible like physical, mentally, spiritually. I truly 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 believe that and I really want to share that. Other than that I hope this was entertaining for you or fascinating. 
I hope you want to try it out yourself. It's been fun. I really want to do more of these challenges. I have a few listed that I want to share with you. Give this a thumbs up if you like these one week, two week challenges. Remember to subscribe if you want to be a part of the Unicorn Squad. Here it's all about positivity and uplifting each other and love and happiness. How to live the best life that you can live. Love you. Be kind. Always. Bye.